What's up guys, Johnny here back with another Call of Duty Mobile video. Today we talk leaks and news, mostly weapons today, some free to play versions of weapons coming soon in the game that are only available for money right now, but also pay to win stuff. Let's get into it. Guys, if you like these videos, make sure you hit the like on that one and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Now let's start. Now let's start with the featured tab on the store. There are two coming soon items and we probably already know what they will be. The first one, it looks like we'll get some locust crates, guys. The locust sniper already been leaked. It's already available in the Asia server. I don't know if it's just on the test server or just the Garena version. We already seen some gameplay of the locust. If you look around on YouTube, you will find some. Uh, so what's the deal with the locust? Guys, there's already a few weapons that are only available uh, as money weapons, you know, like you can only buy in crates or you had to be lucky in the lucky draw. The problem with these weapons is there's no free to play version of them. Like most weapons usually when you get a black gold weapon or I don't know a royal crimson weapon Well, it's just a skin. They already exist as free to play, right? Usually all the weapons in the game all you have to do is level up play the game level up and you unlock the free version of all the weapons that exist The problem now is they started adding weapons in the game that don't exist as free to play first example is the Razorback Razorback was only available in the lucky draw and does not exist as free to play. That was not a big deal when it came out. We quickly realized it's just a PDW with the different looks. It had the same fire rate, same damage, same reload speed, same aim down side speed. It was exactly the same, even had the same sound. They changed the sound on season two, but still it's a PDW that costs money and it's not affecting the meta. Also, it's not a top weapon in the game, it's just a collectible. Now the second weapon is the ICR-1. Again, not available as free to play, only exists in the crate. And once again, not a big deal because it's not really pay to win since it's not powerful. It's pretty similar to an M4. I know there are some little differences, but still. It's not something that the top players on the leaderboard will use in legendary ranked gameplay, right? It's not one of the best weapons in the game. So once again, it's more collectible. It's not like the players with money have the best weapons. It's just really cool. Now that will be the same case with the Locust Sniper. If it comes out in crates, it's gonna be only available to players that spend money in the game. Now the difference is compared to the Razorback or the ICR, the Locust will be extremely pay to win according to what we've seen on Reddit. We have the stats guys and let's take a quick look. So someone posted that on Reddit earlier. Comparing the stats from the DLQ33 with the Locust Sniper, they have it already uh, in Asia. And the top two numbers on the top row are damage and fire rate. So the Locust has a faster fire rate and higher damage than the DLQ, okay? And DLQ33 was already considered by some as the best sniper in the game. I know now with the recent balance changes, more players are using the Arctic 50 now, but still the DLQ is very often one shot, one kill. So some guys say, well, what's the difference? If it's already one shot, one kill, what's the extra damage gonna do? Well, it depends where you hit. If you hit a bit outside of the one shot kill zone, well, maybe you're gonna get more one shot kills and less hit markers. Now, the mobility is the same. The only difference is the 55 to 60 is the accuracy. So the Locust will be a little bit less accurate, but still. Some guys say, this is gonna be the best sniper in the game. It's a mix of the DLQ and the RT-50, but also what they say because of the testing already done in the game is the aim down sight time. They say that the Locust has a faster aim down sight time than all the other snipers. So it has really good stats, but also aim down sight faster. So it's gonna be a beast. So that's why I say we have a problem here. Compared to the weapons that are already only available for money, the other weapons are not a problem because they're, they're not great, great weapons. They're not even used in high rank gameplay. But the Locust, I think it's gonna be a real problem because it's not fair if you cannot afford to buy it, you cannot have the best sniper in the game, right? Now, my opinion on that is I think the problem will only be temporary 
What I think they're doing is when they release these new weapons, they just release it for money players a bit before the other players. They will come as free to play later, but they release for money first. And when people are done buying them, then they release them as free to play. My reasoning is we already found in the game files some free to play Razorback and free to play ICR. So what we see here is a free to play ICR one, no skin, probably is gonna be available for everyone for free. We just don't know how. Is it gonna be in the credit shop? Is it gonna be a reward for events? And same thing for the Razorback. It will be available later for everyone for free. But again, we don't know how they're gonna do it. Now it does make a lot of sense. I played some other mobile games in the past, like years ago, and they did that every month. They release a new character every month only for money. And then two or three months later, they release it for free for everyone. That's their way to make money, but also try to keep the game fair for everyone. Everyone can access everything in the long run. Now for the Razorback, it's not a big deal. Like I said, same thing for the ICR. But to me, it is a problem when it comes down to performance. If the Locust is the best weapon in the game. If the Locust really is the best weapon in the game, well, from the time it's only available from money players until the time when they release it for free, there's gonna be a gap where the money players will have an advantage over the free-to-play players, and that is not cool. Now, next question is, are they going to increase the level cap? That would be a way to give the new weapons to the free-to-play players. The maximum has been 150 for a while, and usually in mobile games, they keep increasing the cap from time to time so people have a reason to play and to grind levels. Because right now they have double XP events, a lot of players are already maxed and increasing the cap would make a lot of sense. Put the cap to 200, make the levels super long to grind and give us the new weapons at 175 and 200 or something like that, maybe 160, 170, 180. And they could release the Razor back like that and the ICR one. Now we're done with the Locust talk. What would be the second coming soon offer? Well, I think it's already been revealed also. It's gonna be a lucky draw for the gnome skin. Uh, remember when we leaked some character skins for Christmas? There was a lucky draw uh, picture leaked. And apparently, yeah, that's gonna be the gnome. I already said I didn't really want to spend like 200 bucks for a character skin, especially that one. I think it's funny for Christmas, but it's the kind of thing we're not going to use after Christmas, so probably I'm going to pass on that one. But anyways, that will be it for today, guys. Good news and bad news. I don't know what you think about it, but make sure to hit the like if you like these videos and you want more. And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more Call of Duty Mobile videos. Leave me a comment below. I will read everything and I will be back soon. Until then, watch my...